Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on volumes as triple integrals part 2. In the part 1 video, we have learned how to find the volume of the given sphere. For this, we have taken an orange, we have cut into two pieces, north, south and the same way we cut into east, west, we will be getting four pieces. Then we cut this horizontally, we get eight pieces. Out of this eight, we took a single piece and we say it as the first octant and we connect with that to find the volume of the sphere whose center is 0, 0, 0 and radius is A. So, we cut the sphere and we get the first octant since the lower limit is 0, 0, 0 and we can find the limits for the volume dz, dy, dx from the given question x square plus y square plus z square equal to a square and we found the answer is going to be v is equal to 4 by 3 pi a cube. In this session, we are going to see one more interesting problem. Find the volume of tetrahedron. When you search in internet, we can found some images on tetrahedron. You can see it either a top view. So, it looks like there is a triangle in the bottom and then it is connected like this. So, it has four triangles. We can see this is triangle 1, triangle 2 and triangle 3 and the triangle 4 is hiding behind it. It is the base. You can weave it. For more clarity, you can see this three-dimensional structure. Hope you got the idea. You can see here, I will explain this. Let us take base is the first triangle. The second triangle is one of the face. The third one, let me take in terms of red. Now you can easily see the fourth triangle. You can imagine from the figure. So, tetrahedron is made from four different triangles. Now, let us see mathematically. Do you remember in your school days, we used to draw this linear equation. x by a plus y by b equal to 1. How to draw it? Just put x equal to 0, then we will get y equal to b. Similarly, if I put y equal to 0, I will get x equal to a. Therefore, in the x, y axis, we just mark this points as a comma 0 and 0 comma b and we can draw the straight line passes through this two points. This equation is known as intercept form x by a plus y by b equal to 1. Now, it is very easy to guess the tetrahedron is the 3D analogous case of this intercept form. You can see here, this is my origin 0, 0, 0, x axis, y axis and z axis. Therefore, my points are a comma 0 comma 0 if the length is a and suppose here if I say the length is b and the other point is 0 comma 0 comma c. So, hope you understand where the tetrahedron comes from. It is the 3D analog of the intercept form of a line x by a plus y by b equal to 1. Now, I can write the equation of the tetrahedron as x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1. Now, we have to find the volume of the tetrahedron. The good thing is, we don't want to convert into octant or anything because I see the tetrahedron, one corner is in the origin 0, 0, 0. So, my lower limits are going to be z equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to 0. Now, this is going to be easy for me to solve the problem. So, let us go into the solution for this problem. So, they can ask the question like this also. Find the volume of the tetrahedron bounded by the planes x equal to 0, y equal to 0, z equal to 0 and the equation. Or they will simply give find the volume of the tetrahedron. Sometimes they can give find the volume bounded by the plane x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1. All these three questions represents the tetrahedron. Now, as usual, step 1, I have to find the limit. So, I am considering the volume as triple integral dz dy dx over the region d. So, I will find z limit first, then y limit, then x limit. So, as I said, we have to fix the lower limits because the tetrahedron one corner is at origin x0, y0 and z0. Now, write z in terms of x, y. z by c is equal to 1 minus x by a minus y by b. If you push this c to the other side, we will be getting z is equal to c into 1 minus x by a minus y by b. 
now z job is done i want to find the limit for y so y by b is equal to 1 minus x by a so y is equal to b into 1 minus x by a now we used both z and y so x by a equal to 1 i can just found the value of x as a therefore my limits are ready to solve the problem Next, as I said, we have to take the volume as triple integral dz dy dx. Even you can take in the different order and you have to find the limits accordingly. Choice is yours. Next, we have to substitute the x, y, z limits from the previous slide. Now, we get this. Integrating this, we will be getting the final solution. So, integral 0 to a integral b into 1 minus x by a z my upper limit is c into 1 minus x by a minus y by b lower limit is 0 dy dx substituting the value will be getting like this now i can take this c outside since it is a constant while we integrate with respect to y 1 minus x by a is constant therefore c into integral 0 to a 1 minus x by a into y minus y square by 2b this is the integration with respect to y dx my lower limit is 0 upper limit is b into 1 minus x by a now we have to substitute the upper and lower limit we should be very cautious we should not do any errors integral 0 to a c is constant lower limit is going to be 0 obviously when you substitute the upper limit we will be getting b into 1 minus x by a here also we have 1 1 minus x by a so we get 1 minus x by a whole square for the second term 1 by 2b is constant when you apply this we will be getting b square 1 minus x by a whole square dx now bb will get cancelled we can take b as common from both the terms so bc integral over 0 to a even you can see in both terms 1 minus x by a whole square is going to be same so i'll take this out so 1 minus x by a whole square you should not take this out outside the integral i am taking in common so we will be getting 1 minus 1 by 2 dx therefore 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 now better expanding this and we can easily integrate this 1 plus x square by a square minus 2x by a dx integrating this we will be getting bc by 2 x plus x cube by 3a square minus 2 time x square by 2a limits are 0 to a when i substitute the limits so bc divided by 2 upper limit a plus a cube by 3a square minus this 2 2 get cancel a square by a now i can cancel this a square with a cube and a with a square therefore my final answer is bc by 2 2 a plus a by 3 minus a now this both will get cancelled finally we get a b c by 6 you can see the typed version therefore volume of the given bounded region or volume of the tetrahedron is a b c divided by 6 hope you understand thank you for watching we hope you found this video helpful stay tuned for more and keep up the great work subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video bye bye